Hi, I'm Courtney Tarperton, Business Development Manager at Marine Rescue Technologies. We're a company based in Beverly, just outside of Hull. Uh, we were founded in 1975 and our core business is commercial marine safety equipment and man overboard solutions. We were founded in 1975 by a gentleman called David Marshall, Hull born. He fell overboard off a commercial shipping vessel and uh, it was from this experience that led him to develop the world's first locator beacon. Principally we're a personal locator beacon manufacturer which is a device that will activate on entry into the water so if a worker falls overboard it'll send out a distress signal to pretty much every potential rescue asset in the vicinity. Um, and with that comes life jackets so along with locating we will look after the flotation functionality so and a person who goes overboard is going to be covered, they're going to be safe out of the water and people are going to know where they are. I've been thrown in the water like as a, as a test, yeah, we, we do some testing in the North Sea quite regularly. All of our MRT's products are designed and manufactured in Beverly in the UK. Our products are used worldwide um, the, the commercial marine industry is, is global. We supply pretty much every, every continent in, around the world. Um, across various different industries including the fishing industry, offshore energy, offshore renewables, um, so it's pretty much anyone who, who works at sea utilises our equipment. MRT wouldn't be where it is today without exporting. Marine industry is a global industry so it accounts for roughly 50% of our revenue, uh, comes from exports. Uh, at the moment the new emerging markets are Far East Asia, South East Asia and uh, the East Coast of America. So that's predominantly where a lot of our offshore renewable customers will be working. So it's, it's, our, it's our target to be where our customers are. So we'll be looking at set, setting up a new reseller network, distribution network and service facilities in these regions. The DIT and the LAP have been, have been really good in helping us through, through this process. We had some apprehensions about entering new markets through not having the connections, not having the information, speaking different languages. But the DIT and the LAP we were really good with that, helping us, putting, getting in touch with the right contacts and, and really did a lot of the legwork for us. So it made it a lot easier. Anytime there was a roadblock, they, they came in and helped us and um, putting us in touch with the right local authorities. And yeah, they've been a massive help. I think there's so many opportunities out there that, that, can, be, that can be picked up from companies exporting. Um, like I said, for us, with it being 50% of our revenue, it's just as important as domestic sales. Um, like there's so much opportunity for there to tap into, bring money into the business and, and help grow that way through exporting.